The crowd was restless that day. A crier made his way to the front and shouted, Who will volunteer? We need one man to brave the British lines and gain intelligence. Who will go? A hush covered the crowd. A bird could be heard chirping in the distance. But other than that, complete silence. One man spoke up. It was a humble school teacher who made his way through the crowd. I will go, he replied. I am willing. This decision would change the course of his life and etch his name into American history. The man's name was Nathan Hale. The year was 1776. The American people had been engaged in the Revolutionary War for more than a year now. The British, or Redcoats, were all over the American colonies. Since the start of the war, Nathan Hale had become a captain in the Connecticut Regiment. His commander was the one and only George Washington. George Washington gave Nathan Hale the mission of finding the location of the British Army in and around New York City. Hale was to report his findings back to his commander. This information certainly would have given the American troops an advantage over the British. It could even lead to the end of the Revolutionary War. Nathan Hale pretended to be a school teacher looking for a job in New York. He even wore a disguise. This allowed him to sneak around and gain intelligence without anyone suspecting that he was really a spy. But it all went wrong when someone recognized Hale at a tavern like this one. A tavern was like a restaurant or a bar in early American times. The British Major Robert Rogers was alerted that there was a patriotic sympathizer, which meant that this person was on the side of the American patriots and not the British Army. Nathan Hale was captured on September 21st, 1776. They found drawings and maps that Hale had done to send back to George Washington. This proved that he was a spy. Nathan Hale was hung the very next morning at 11 a.m. Later writers stated that his final words, the words that echo into the centuries since, were, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. It is for this powerful, patriotic statement that Nathan Hale is still remembered to this day. This man was willing to sacrifice everything for something that he believed in. He loved his country and showed it by standing up and volunteering that day in 1776.